LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, Lift off conditions looking pretty good. ATS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off. Is pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. see Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites into orbit. There we just heard that power and telemetry are all nominal. We're going to throttle the engines down in preparation for max Q. And this is the largest, this is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see during ascent. So slowing the vehicle down a little helps during that short period. Max Q coming up here in just a couple of seconds. Q. There we heard the call out for Max Q. Now, over in, the, in about a minute, the next three events will be happening back to back. First, we have main engine cutoff. Great shot there of the vehicle prior to Miko. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. All right, all three of those events happening in quick succession prior to MVAC ignition there that you see caught a glimpse of. Oh, and on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see the Space Coast illuminated by the night lights. That's an awesome shot there as we see the grid fins beginning their deployment. So everything looking great there on second stage. Bearing separation confirmed. We heard the verbal call out. And Both there on your screen, you can see. Trajectories. All right, great news all around. We had fairing separation. Those will, uh, we'll be attempting to recover those using our recovery vessels. Then we heard everything looking nominal for both first and second stages. It's dark on the left-hand side of your screen there as the Space Coast night lights fade out of view, but that first stage is going to uh, coming, be coming back down and making a landing. And in order to do so, it'll be executing two burns in order to make that drone ship landing. The first burn is the entry burn, bright white glow coming from that MVAC nozzle. At this point, the first stage is now beginning to descend back to Earth. It is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins that are positioned near the top of the first stage. We don't have any light illuminating the vehicle at the moment, so can't really make them out on camera. So we're providing you views of our second stage instead. But those grid fins that we saw deploy earlier uh, are what stage one uses to help. Stage one, entry burn startup. All right, so this 20 second burn has just begun. And you can see that there on the left-hand side of your screen. If you look closely, you might be able to see those grid fins actuate to assist. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. Steering of that uh, stage one, and as you just heard, shut down of that entry burn. That is the Let's first of. Continue to follow nominal trajectories.
and that landing burn out. There we have a shot of the drone ship holding position in the Atlantic Ocean. Landing burn startup. And there we can see the lights beginning to illuminate the platform and the waters around. Stage two is under terminal. Stage guidance. one, landing leg deploy. Okay, let's see if we're able to stick this landing. Looks pretty good. There we can see the first stage has landed. This marks the this marks the 74th successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, and the fifth recovery for that particular booster that you see there. So that's all great news for the first stage. Turning our attention to the second stage there. Second engine cutoff is expected momentarily. Seco. And there we heard the call out for Seco, second engine cutoff. Signal, Kate. And we're going to wait to hear the call out for good orbit. Nominal parking orbit insertion. Okay, there we just heard we got a good orbit there for second stage. It's going to coast for a little bit in this orbit, actually for the next 35 minutes or so. While that happens...